What's up everybody, welcome to the Amateur Coder channel. So today we're going to finish our to-do app. And when we finish, it's going to look like this. We're going to be able to click in here, add a to-do, click the little checkbox. It'll be added to this to-do list. We'll be able to update it and you'll see everything changes live on the database. And it's all streamed. So if we go to the database and we update this, you'll see this updates automatically. So all of this becomes streamed. If we remove one from the database, it'll get removed from there as well. So let's get into it. Here's a table of contents for today's video. We're first gonna work on the adding a to-do here, then to-do controller with the stream, displaying the to-do list, and then updating the checkboxes. So here we have the base app where we left off last time. So instead of being in the middle, the name is in the bar, and we have the sign out right here. And I made it a dark theme which you can easily do just by theme, theme data dot dark. And we're still able to log in. You see, welcome Tadis, sign out, and then you could change the theme here as well. So pretty much the same map we had at the end of the last video, just things a little bit moved around. So like I said, first thing we're gonna do is add it to do. So at the very top of the page, we're gonna add a card, we're gonna give it some margins, and a child of row. Inside, it's gonna have some children, it's gonna have a text form field with a controller called to do controller. Then after that form field, we're gonna have an icon button with an icon to add and an on press, which we will define later. And you see we have a problem because our render space is not defined. All we need to do is wrap this form field in an expanded widget. So just to make it look a little bit nicer, I'm gonna add some padding around this. And now we have the same box that I had. So this button doesn't do anything. We need to create a way to write to the database. We've done this multiple times. Add to do. And all we need to add is the content that we're going to add for the to do. And then the UID for which we're going to add it to. Try catch as always. And inside we await Firestore collection users document UID collection to do's and then add a document and it will have date created content and whether it's done or not we'll start off with false now in the home all we do is call the database function we just created with the content that's going to be our to do controller dot text and then the uid we get passed in through the auth controller and that's it that's all we need. And now if you check our database, we try to add something, get groceries, add it. If we refresh, there's our to-dos, get groceries, everything's there. So we need to update one more thing. Let's do uh, to-do controller.clear after we send it out. And let's check that it's not empty before we do that. So now if we do get to work, click this, it disappears and gets loaded in here. I don't need to do that, but here. And then if we don't type anything, we need to make sure we do text. And now if we don't type anything, nothing else else gets added. So that was the easy part. Now it's to actually show the to-dos and stream them directly from Firebase using get X. So we're gonna need a new model called to do dot dart. We can do get model with the the get x snippets. Then we'll have a to do model. We'll have a string of content, string of to do id, timestamp of date created, and boolean of whether it is done or not. And then instead of from JSON, we're going to do from document snapshot. And then in here, set to do ID to document snapshot, document ID, content equals document snapshot dot data content. And then same thing for the other two. So our model is all set up. Now, what are we actually going to stream here? We're going to stream a list of these to-do models. So we can do get controller 
to do controller and in here we're gonna have an observable of list of to do models and then we'll stream that list of to do models just like that and then we will also have override the on init function in here we'll take the to-do list and we'll bind the stream to it and the stream is going to be the stream coming from firebase so i like to separate my firebase interfaces from my actual like content so we'll just stream it here and we're going to need to pass the uid now here we can get that database and stream to do stream and the uid we're just going to get a simple uid from our get dot find auth controller dot user dot uid and there we go our stream is all set up now to actually stream the data from firebase we need to return a stream firestore dot collection users collection the document we want the uid of the user and then we want a collection to do's and we want snapshots of all those to do's then we want to map that to an actual list of to do's so this will return us a query snapshot and then in here we can set up a list of to do models and then from that query of documents that we have we're going to go through each document and add it to our list and if you remember we set up that from document snapshot that makes it really easy and there we go then we just return right val at the end and our stream should be set up if you remember we added a date in here so we can order these by the date that we put in all right so now our stream is received and everything should be working now we just need to actually display it. So we go to the home screen. Your to do's here. We're going to display it inside of a get X. We're going to have a builder with our to do controller. One thing we're going to need to do is to initialize it because there's nowhere else where this controller is getting initialized except here. And then since it is a stream, we want to check that it is not null. And then at the same time, even if the stream is activated, we want to make sure the values are actually received. If we don't have that, let's return a text that says loading. And if we do have that, we want to return a list view dot builder. Then inside here, we can just return a text with our to do controller do's and select the index and we can have the content so see the render layout again that's okay wrap this in an expanded widget so it just takes up the rest of the screen and we have this problem it keeps going because we don't have a length defined either inside this list view builder we need to make sure we have an item count and the item count is to do's dot length all right, now it should work. So get to work, get groceries. That's it. This is done. We're displaying all our to-dos. Now we should be able to add it. Buy a cat. We add it. Shows up right there. The last part is just to make it look pretty. So we're going to create a widget called to-do card. This will just be a stateless widget called to-do card. Inside, we need to pass a UID and the to-do model that we want to display. Here, we're going to return a card with a child of a row with some children in it. One's going to be an expanded widget with some text that's going to be to-do.content. We can give it some styling. And then we also need a checkbox. The value is going to be to do dot done. And then on change, we're going to have to update the database with the new value. So I'm going to call the database 
I'm going to do update to do and we're going to pass a new value in. But to know which to do update, we need to pass a UID as well and then a to do ID, which we will get from to do dot to do ID. All right. Now if we go to our database, another simple interface, update to do. Inside we're going to need the to do model, the UID, and the to do ID. In Firestore, we're going to go to the users collection. Going to go to the specific user. Going to go to the to do's collection. Going to go to the specific to do item. And then finally, update the data for done to the new value. That should not have been to do model. That should be new value. Update the to do to the new value. There we go. Okay, that's it. I think this needs to say to do card. We need to pass the to do model and so to do and the UID, which we get from the controller dot user dot UID. Okay, let's see. So there we go. Here's our list. Let's bring this up. We can add a finish to do video. Click that, pops up at the top. If we go to that document, we click a check mark. You'll see it updates to true and all of them update. If we click any of them, you'll see the orange pop up. Very nice and easy way to build a to-do app with GetX. So I hope you enjoyed this little series. From this, I realized to-do app is a great app to learn fundamentals of whatever you're learning. We use streams, we used authentication, we created futures with the user login. There's a lot of things you can learn from making a to-do app. Doing this with GetX, we showed off the most used use cases and how they work with GetX. I think GetX made this to-do app very simple and easy to build. I will continue to use it on my future apps. But that's it. This code will be on GitHub. If you have any questions or anything, make sure to leave it in the comments. Like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.